Uh, so Dunmeet Peleg is from Israel. Uh, she's a fashion designer and she's known for her 3D printed fashion work. Actually, some of her work uh, was outside. I don't know if any of you spotted it as you came in, but you know, you'll have an opportunity to go back and look at it now as well. Uh, she's trying to revolutionize the fashion industry by reducing waste uh, and by reducing the massive footprint that manufacturing garments, as well as then shipping them to destination countries, uh, creates. Uh, here's Denith Peleg. This is not working. We all have fashion, but the way we make it today is hurting our planet, creating inequality, especially among women, and massively contributing to climate change. It just doesn't make sense. More than 80% of the workers in textile factories are women, working in these factories day in, day out, for their entire lives, oftentimes in unsafe working conditions and no job security. When the average salary is $3 per day, workers are barely making a living wage, and of course, these ladies would never be able to afford to buy the cheap garments that they produce. Fashion is one of the most polluting industries in the world and is a major contributor to climate change. Our clothes are made with tons of toxic chemicals that make their way into our water sources. Clothes have become almost disposable and are incredibly wasteful. In the U.S. alone, 15 million tons of clothing are thrown away every year and end up in landfills, or burned. Not much has changed in the past 100 years. Women are still working hard to make our clothes, and the technology that we use is still very similar. We still use the same types of sewing machines. But at the same time, in the last 20 years, we have doubled the number of garments that we produce. More than 100 billion fashion items are made every year. What can we do to change this reality? I think we need to change the way we produce and consume fashion radically. It is necessary for all of us to innovate and develop completely new ways of making our clothing that are less harmful to our planet and to the millions of workers. Imagine a world where you have the power to change all of the things that we just talked about. You have the power to choose what you want to wear and how and when to produce it. Because you simply 3D print sustainable clothing from digital files at your home all by yourself. I believe and hope that by 2030, the way we manufacture our clothes will change dramatically. And today I will show you why I think 3D printed fashion can be a major player in this revolution. My journey with 3D printed fashion started four years ago when I was at fashion school. I decided that instead of sewing my final fashion collection like my friends did, I would use 3D printers. After nine months of research and development, I end up to print the world's first fashion collection, printed entirely using home printers. Ever since then, I learned how deep of a crisis we're in and realized that if we can take this innovation and make it scale with the right materials, we could reduce our negative impact on the world. This is a 3D printed dress that I made for the Olympics in Rio. This dress showed me once again the potential power of 3D printed fashion. Working on this dress was very, very challenging because I didn't get a chance to meet the dancer before the rehearsal in Brazil. But thanks to 3D printing and a simple app, I was able to customize the dress so it fit her like a glove without ever meeting her in person. And the whole process created zero waste. 
So after seven months of work, the dress was on stage in a beautiful dance with a robot partner. It felt amazing that... Thank you. It felt amazing that hundreds of millions of people saw 3D printed dress in action for the first time. So how does 3D printing work? It is simple yet powerful technology that used widely in, in many other industries. The way it works is that it's printing layer after layer, uh, allowing us to print any structure we can imagine, including printing shoes, textiles, and accessories. With 3D printing, we're able to see the digital simulation of the final product before it even goes to production. So this is when we're able to, do, to make change before the physical product is made, saving us so much time and effort. So this is the first 3D printed garment that I ever printed, is this red Liberté jacket that took me more than 300 hours to print and assemble. <laughs> I used small printers, so I had to piece all my garments together from dozens of parts, just like a 3D puzzle. To complete printing the entire fashion collection, I brought six printers to my home, and I was just printing 24-7 for two weeks in a row. Sounds like a lot, right? But over the past three years, that has already evolved. Today, when I print my garments, I use more sophisticated printers that allow me to print this skirt that I'm wearing right now in just four pieces. And the printing time is three times faster. Innovators are coming up with better and faster printers. But indeed, this is still a major challenge we need to overcome. We need to find ways to accelerate printing time to minutes. 3D printing materials are also evolving, and the majority of them can be recycled. Today, can already print with wood, metal, and even with glass. So developing the right materials that are more wearable for 3D printed fashion is the biggest challenge that we face and also the biggest opportunity. And I believe that soon we will have materials that will have similar properties to fabrics we know today. To have a real sustainable alternative to our current fashion supply chain, it is key that we develop materials that can be printed, can feel good, and can be recycled. If 3D printing and fashion will beco become commonplace, the way we consume our fashion will also change quite a bit. Shopping for fashion will be similar to how we shop for music today. We will be able to pick a garment as a file from fashion brand or from our favorite uh, fashion designer. We will buy a file, customize it, personalize it like by writing your name in the back, and then we will load the printer with the appropriate fabric filament. So if it's a summer day, we'll print with cotton, and if it's winter, we will print with wool, and we will have it ready within minutes from the comfort of our home or in the retail store. There are many benefits to 3D printing in fashion as it relates to our environment, and it can be a real sustainable alternative to the world we know today, as well as make fashion even more personalized and fun. Today, 15% of the raw textiles materials are wasted only at the cutting process. But with 3D printing, very limited waste is produced. Because when I print this dress, every part has a roll, and every part being used, so there is no leftovers. This is not something possible to do when you work with uh, traditional fabrics. Oftentimes, Big brands produce way too much styles and designs that are not successful, and they end up as waste under our ground. But with 3D printing, clothes are on demand, so there will be literally no inventory. With digital files, 
I am able, and you all are able, to email a dress to a friend, and they can print this dress on the other side of the world. So essentially, there will be no shipping cost. Today, only 1% of the clothes of the world is recycled. But with 3D printing, it may be possible to recycle most of the materials. So if I'm done using this skirt, I just blend it, create new filament, and then print a new dress. With 3D printing, it is possible to customize every printed piece. So when you print a garment, it fits exactly to your measurements. Imagine you, as a young fashion designer, uploading your designs online and immediately having millions of people download and print them, turning them into a viral fashion items. Just like today, a video can go viral on Facebook or YouTube. In the future, fashion items like a t-shirt or a jacket could become viral too. These were a few of the amazing benefits that we will have if 3D printed fashion will evolve. If it does, the fashion industry will undergo a huge positive revolution. We're moving in the right direction as awareness is growing for more ethical fashion. But to make a real difference, with more research and development, I believe we have a shot at reinventing this industry completely. We need to change the process from scratch. We can also make fashion much circular and radically cleaner. Today, 80% of the textile workers in factories are women, and women make 80% of fashion purchases. So this is really a problem that belongs to us, women. In a couple of generations, we will look back very differently at the way we do things now and wonder why we didn't change more quickly. I hope for more female entrepreneurs, researchers, academics, and fashion students to be inspired to think big and bring the digital revolution to fashion. Thank you so much. Thank you, Denise.